Hey guys, welcome back to the DWF. It's your host, Dan Dan Russell fan here. And today, our special shout out is to Eli Gaming and More. This is what you asked for, Eli. Hopefully, you enjoy this. This is uh, my WrestleMania 39 setup. Uh, it's not exactly like WrestleMania 39, but I've got all the matches covered here. Let's take a look. First up here, we've got the men's qualifying match. Strowman Express is starting up. Viking Raiders just trying to take on everyone they can. Chad Gable trying to get that crowd control back with the shoosh, a thank you. Uh, and only one person would be insane enough to jump off of our war sign. None other than Montez Ford getting ready to jump down here and clear out the pack. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. First, let's see who else is on the ramp. We have, oh, Seth Rollins just slapping the taste right out of Logan Paul's mouth. Uh, Logan Paul out here uh, running his mouth a little bit, best in the business, all this. Seth Rollins, he wants none of that. Slapping the taste right out of his mouth. That might uh, shut Logan Paul up for a little bit, maybe not uh, run his mouth in front of Seth again. You know, Logan just looking for that one lucky punch. Uh, we'll see what happens. Down here below the ramp, we've got the two immovable objects trying to face off here. Braun Strowman and Oma yeah, Braun Strowman, Brock Lesnar. And Omos down here trying to, you know, one man trying to move the other, get the other one out of the way. Came apart a little bit. There we go. I wanted to have them that they're, it looks like they're trying to just push each other. One man trying to gain leverage over the other. Uh, not able to outmaneuver the other. Both uh, equal, powerful competitors right here. Moving on down across here, we have Asuka, who looks to be claiming victory over Bianca. Meet little does she know that smirk on her face. She's playing possum. She's got Oscar right where she wants her. Oscar just doesn't know it yet. Sorry, Oscar. We'll we'll check in on you in a little bit. Let's move back into the ring here. We have Edge out here, uh, just doing his entrance to Metalangus. Doesn't know that Finn Balor, a demon Balor, is just waiting behind him. He's ready to get the jump. Uh, you know, in this one, in this one, Finn Balor wins. Finn Balor wins this story. Sorry, Edge. I'm, I'm a Finn guy. <laughs> but I do like Edge, too. I really hoped that there was a point that uh, Judgment Day would have Finn and Edge in it. That just was never meant to be. They could not coexist as the leaders of the group or whatever the power dynamic was at that time. Moving on across here, the best match of WrestleMania 39, right? We can all agree. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn taking out the Usos here. Uh, Haluva kick del delivered to Jay via Sami Zayn, and Jimmy get about to get stunnered by KO. Moving on down here, we have the women's qualifying match. Just the, I mean, Ronda trying to take on Sonya and Raquel saying, hey, they're not, Sonya is not the only uh, powerhouse woman here involved in this match. Raquel getting involved. Chelsea Green trying to pull Sonya back. Let Ronda and Raquel, you know, let them wear each other out, and then we'll jump in and, and clean it up. Meanwhile, uh, Shotzi throwing a kick that was caught by Shayna. Natty with the clothesline discus, or the discus clothesline, to trying to take Shayna over the top rope. And Liv Morgan just trying to come in here and wreck up as much as she can. As we move down to the bottom of our ring, Aubrey Edwards is now a, uh, a referee for WWE. Uh, it's uh, it, that sorry. <laughs> I mean that that's what it is. Uh, I just had the figure available. Also, it's the best referee figure I have. But Charlotte Flair putting the uh, uh, figure eight leg lock on mommy down here. But you know, mommy's mommy's used to the pain, and she's like, you know what? We're gonna get through this. We're gonna uh, survive this. We're right here. We can reach out for the rope break. We're gonna be just fine. We're gonna beat Charlotte at her own game. Moving down to the bottom here, we've got the triple threat with Gunther. Drew McIntyre and Sheamus. Uh, Drew McIntyre just trying to find what state he's in. He's just, he is so discombobulated. Just trying to reach back up to the ring. Sheamus delivering a broke kick right as Gunther goes in for a submission. Sorry, Gunther goes in for the submission. So, not, uh, not really looking too good for the challengers. Looks like the champ is going to be A-OK -okay there. Over here, I don't know, Austin Theory was supposed to, fight someone at Wrestlemania, but he can't find his opponent. So he's he's standing here, he's searching for an opponent. He's out here uh, just just looking for his opponent, but he can't he can't see his opponent. 
so so there's that. <laughs> I think I've played that joke to death there. Uh, moving back here, we've got Damage Control getting ready to make their way to the ring. And uh, they were stopped by Trish Stratus, Lita, and Becky. So uh, Damage Control not going to be able to get to the ring as easily as they were hoping for. Back here we have Dom Dom got his dad ready to flip him up and drop him right through that beautiful table of refreshments got a little plant on there you know it's looking nice it was a nice little it's a nice little backstage area and meanwhile cody rhodes is face to face with the tribal chief gonna get speared into a locker so let's see let's see a little bit what some of these look like right so here we go this is for you eli gaming and more we've got the flip down into the oh gosh he missed I messed that up. I threw him too far and he came down into the wrong match. We're going to redo that. Here we go. Okay, he took out just Eric of the Viking Raiders. Whatever. It's, it's, sometimes it happens. You know, sometimes your moves get a little bit botched, but there it is. You, you take out the wrong competitors sometimes, you know? That, that could happen. You get into a match that you don't belong. Uh, I, I set the backstage area up so I can't actually do the discus clothesline now, but sorry, I, I messed that one up. That one's on me. Uh, let's get Dom Dom flipping his dad up and through that table, smashing all the fine refreshments that were laid out for the folks. And then that, whew, that just, I can't imagine what kind of, what kind of pain that would be. Going through a table with all that glass and everything. And then the alcohol is just seeping into all your cuts. No, it's not alcohol. It's not alcohol. It's Coke. It's, it. Focus. It's, it's Coke. It's Coca-Cola. It's cola. That It's cola. Seeping into your open wounds and your glass shards from your glass Coca-Cola. And milk. I also have this wonderful milk. There. <laughs> it takes a while for this for this phone to focus in, but hey, we got it. We got it there. And finally, let's hit that spear, Roman. What do you say? Spear Cody into this locker. That did not do anything. Get him, get him, get him, get him! There. <laughs> Sorry, guys. That one didn't... I should have set the locker up sideways or had him spear him from the side. That would actually would have been cooler. So it would have looked more like if I had Cody kind of like, hey, I'm hanging out by the side of the locker. Roman's just kind of lurking in the shadows and spears him, boom, through the locker. Uh, not not too bad. Not my best setup, but uh, uh, this one, there's there were so many characters involved in WrestleMania 39. So just getting all the figures out and setting them all up. That was, that was a project of its own. Anyway, Eli, I really hope you enjoyed this. Uh, did this one for you, brother. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The next one, the next video we have is going to be a doozy. So get ready for that. That's going to be, whew, it's going to be something. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.